Hello everyone, Simon here again bringing you more Magic the Gathering lore and with it, Ixalan Flavor Fun with today's video focused on the religion and religious practices of the Sun Empire, the native inhabitants on the island of Ixalan. Now we already know they are basically best friends with the Sun, with everything in their society mentioning the Sun in one way or another. But what does that have to do with their religion and their worship of what they call the Threefold Sun? The Threefold Sun is depicted on their flag and battle standards, this series of circles which seem to form a closed lock of some kind. This sigil combined with the Black Rose of the Legion of Dusk would appear to make the Binding Sigil which is preventing Planeswalkers from leaving Ixalan. Which means that the Threefold Sun is in some way connected to this magic and the Immortal Sun itself, the powerful relic which everyone is trying to get their greedy hands on right now. The religion of the Sun Empire seems to be focused on not just a single sun, but the idea of three sun gods or aspects of the sun, which are all ultimately controlled by the supreme sun god. Putting it all together, it's easy to say they worship the idea of the threefold sun, but that doesn't mean it's a singular deity. The aspects of the threefold sun are depicted in the avatars set on Ixalan to represent them in the Sun Empire and its citizens. Great beasts of power, dinosaur aspects the Empire controls and uses to defend their home. The avatar of the waking sun is the representation of Kinjali, the dawn of the threefold sun. Kinjali's encompassing rays herald new life in the moment of the sun's dawning. The prophecy seems to believe that this Kinjali will bring new life with a dawn, a new dawn on Ixalan, as opposed to the Dusk doing the same thing for the Legion of Dusk. Perhaps they mean a metaphorical new life, or maybe literal resurrections like we see from the vampires. Either way, this Kinjali or Waking Sun seems to be the first cycle of the Threefold Sun. The avatar of the Verdant Sun is the personification of Ixali, the high noon or midday of the Threefold Sun. Ixali's fertile rays enliven us all. Each of us is a testament to the Sun's strength and love. So the Sun Empire obviously has some science on their side. They know that the Sun gives life to the land and in essence, all of us. The growing's good when the Sun is high and this is pretty much the aspect of that ideal. As such, it's the middle portion of the Threefold Sun, the largest tier of the sigil. And the avatar of the Burning Sun is the representation of Tilonali, the setting of the Threefold Sun. Tilonali's searing rays carry the spark of life's eventual destruction as all light fades. This prophecy seems to suggest the setting of the sun will bring death and destruction to the Sun Empire. Definitely not literal, but when you take into consideration the Immortal Sun, well then, you kind of actually have something. If the Immortal Sun is taken by the Legion of Dusk and night comes, it could mean the end of the Sun Empire. But hey, it's not all doom and gloom, Burning Sun's avatar is a really amazing card. Of course, as I said, these three aspects, or avatars, what have you, aren't the only thing the Sun Empire worships. They combine to make the Whole of the Sun, which has its own representative in Gishath's Sun's avatar. Here we don't have any flavor text to fall back on, so we're gonna have to make some assumptions. We assume that this is not actually the Sun God everyone loves. I mean, it is a dinosaur after all. Like the other avatars though, it's more of a physical reminder of the Sun God's power. We can see that the sigil of the Threefold Sun is painted on its chest, meaning the Sun Empire is crazy enough to get near this thing, and that they really, really believe in its connection to the Sun God itself. Of course, religion as we know from Zendikar and the worship of the false gods that turned out to be Eldrazi Titans and the god pharaoh of Amenket being none other than the dastardly Nicol Bolas, sometimes religion doesn't always have the best interest of its followers in mind. This religion of the Threefold Sun was created out of the importance or devastation of whatever the Immortal Sun is. Despite it not currently being in their possession, the Sun Empire obviously were very impacted by this relic at some point in their past. For better or worse, this is the state of the Sun Empire on Ixalan as we see it. Perhaps the Sun will rise on a new day and truth may be brought to light, or destruction will topple the Empire. 
Either way, the Immortal Sun will be at the center of it all. Anyway guys, that's what we know so far about the religious practices of the Sun Empire, mainly what they believe in and how it manifests in their society and Ixalan as a whole. Let me know what you guys thought about this video in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave it a like, share it with friends, and of course subscribe for more awesome MTG content. As always guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time here on the Ether Hub.